everyone. I just want to talk to you guys about the wrestling show that I went to the other night called Born Champions Wrestling. Um, I'm just going to start out by giving you guys my feedback on the show. And then I'll just get to the negative stuff a little bit later. With that being said, I just want to say how much of a great time that I had at that BCW wrestling show. Um, I went I went to the show with a couple of close friends of mine, um, Kurt and his wife Angela. So, anyways, um, I just had a great time at the show. I got a chance to meet Jerry Lynn for the very first time. Um, he seems like a very nice guy. Anybody, anybody that knows Jerry Lynn knows that he's a nice guy and I consider him as a friend even though that i known him for a very short time. So, anyways, I had a great time at the show. I gave almost all the wrestlers, mostly heels, a very hard time. Especially the 6% body fat Rob James. I just enjoy giving him a hard time because, you know, he knows that I was having a great time. And he's one of the very nice guys to ever meet, you know. So, anyways, he's did, even though he says some, some negative stuff, he know he doesn't mean it. He's just doing his job as a professional wrestler. And so, so it, it didn't offend me whatsoever. So, I had a great time. And also, I, had, I also got a chance to meet Ryan Cruz, um... Craven Knight and all the other wrestlers too. So I I just had a full blast, you know. I could do this again, so but now let me let me tell you guys what happened what happened with you know there was an incident where where this one wrestler, one wrestling fan came into my face and told me to shut the fuck up. Right into my face. I thought at first that was completely uncalled for. Because I was at the BCW wrestling show. In New Brighton, Minnesota. Just to have a great time. He didn't have to come into my face and say those negative stuff about me. I was just having a great time. And he didn't have to do all that. Um, I was with Kurt and his wife, Angela, and they said the same thing towards him. Because at first, he was about to get ready to get out his wheelchair and kick that guy's ass. But, you know, it really did upset a lot of people, you know, including my two of my closest friends. And, you know, I paid good money to go to go to this show and um I just gotta say that was completely uncalled for. And if I ever see this guy again, I'll make sure to tell one of the BCW's um owner if I could step in the ring with him. Because what he did was totally unacceptable. You know, and I still and I'm still very upset about that. So, other than that, other than that one incident, I had a great time at that BCW show. And I, and I would like to go there again. But, I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I can't have a great time. Because I will. And, I, and this is my advice to all the wrestling fans out there. Don't let anybody tell you not to have a great time or get into your face 
and tell you not to have a great time because you know what? You spend good money to be at the at these wrestling shows. And don't let anybody don't let anybody let you down in any way, shape or form or fashion. Just go to these wrestling shows and have a great time. And if some of the people has a problem with that, don't bother going to these wrestling shows. Because we're there to have a great time. Great time. We're not here trying to offend anybody. But we're just there to have a great time. And, and then some. So don't be going to these wrestling shows and and tell them and telling everybody to shut the fuck up. Because that's what makes my night the night even more bad. So just say. Well, that's just about does it for me. Um gotta get going now. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.